What's up YouTube? I'm down here in the sunny state of Florida. I'm trying to get a workout in. Seeing as how this whole coronavirus has all the gym shut down, I'm resorting to uh, having to do cardio, which I absolutely detest, but here I am getting the job done. Anyways, I suppose it was a long time coming. But I figured while I was at it, I wanted to do a uh, take two of sorts of my Cry Precision JPC. Um, I, since my last video that I did, I've made it, I've oriented things a little bit differently and uh, made a few minor upgrades. So I figured I'd uh, talk to you about that and just to maybe give you some ideas. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. But anyway, starting out, this is the Cry JPC plate carrier. And inside of it, I've got some uh, level four ceramic Protec plates. Uh, Cry JPC is certainly one of the top brands of choice when it comes to your special operations community. They've been around for a long time and they are incredibly durable. They've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of service life, so certainly has the reputation of uh, durability behind it, as well as uh, stitching and everything else like that. So, Anyways, uh, there are also a number of other good plate carriers out there. Uh, Feral Concepts makes good stuff, uh, First Spear, London Bridge, London Bridge Trading, that kind of thing. There's a million different choices, but I decided to go with this one for whatever reason. I don't know. I just like the look of it. But some of the basic features on it, when you order the carrier, this is the size extra large. I think it comes in two different other sizes, but it does come with the mag triple pouch. I opted not to use that, and I decided to just put a... Uh, a STAC triple uh, 556 uh, mag carrier right here on the front. Uh, STAC, I don't know why, but I've seriously got a hard on for uh, that for that brand right now. Odd, I know, but they just make really good stuff. Uh, this particular uh, one, all their uh, their STAC Kiwis do not have the retention band on the top. Your retention is basically a Kydex clip that sits into the bottom of the mag pouch, and that's what holds all your mags in. Um, on the sides here. I've got, uh, I don't even know what the hell brand this one is. I got it off of eBay. Probably made by uh, the kid who, uh, Patient Zero over in Wuhan, China. Who the fuck knows? And then over here, this one is uh, one of my medical pouches from Millspec Monkey. Costs about 40 bucks. This thing is fantastic. It's got a little bit, it's got plenty of room to carry uh, all my stuff for me. Um, I like to carry two med med pouches on my, on my plate carrier. This is kind of designed for an active shooter type event if I ever need it that I've got not only enough medical supplies to treat myself if I get wounded more than once. Ideally, you want you don't want to just carry one tourniquet or a blood clot or anything like that. You want to carry enough to where there's a chance you may get shot multiple times. You have enough supplies in order to save your own life. But this one is for me. This one here on the bottom, it carries pretty much the same exact thing, but this is for uh, friendlies as well as uh, any victims I come across uh, after the threat has stopped. I like to carry as much medical supplies as I possibly can. I cannot stress enough exactly how important it is to carry uh, med supplies versus all that uh, all the high speed shit on there. Which for the record, I am not high speed. As a matter of fact, I'm low speed. Being generous, I would say I'm medium speed. <laughs> I'm not one of those tier one operators or any of that bullshit, but I do like to go out and LARP, so I might as well look the part. Um, one interesting uh, thing that I put on here is this uh, STAC uh, Scorpion uh, mag catch. It's just a, or a mag pouch. It uh, holds two mags. I uh, typically I like to work with uh, my ten and a half build that I use. Obviously, it takes AR mags, but I also like to train with my Scorpion here, right there, and. Uh, I needed an option to where I could, because uh, typically I run this flat with this is uh, this removed, and I needed a quick detach option. That way, if I ever do train with it, I can just slap it on there, and it's not a problem. Now, uh, most of uh, these, this right here, this placard is held on there by uh, forgot forgot what the name of it, some sort of clip, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get on and off. However, once you get it on there, it is nice and solid and sturdy on there. But for my uh, Scorpion uh, mag holder. I actually have these QD clips that pop on and off and slide right in and out, make it super easy to remove and to put back on there. So give you a little closer look. I think I got like a five pack of these for like six bucks. Anyway, it certainly does the job. It keeps it on there nice and snug and secure. And if I need to pull it on and off, then that's a, that's a snap. Uh, this right here is my, uh, what I was talking about, your uh, malice clips, that's the name of it. Anyways, this is probably one of the standard uh, attachment options when it comes to any sort of mag pouch. They're super cheap and they're very, very secure, but like I said, that they are a bit of a pain in the ass to take on and off. 
Uh, that's another thing you may want to look at if you're uh, looking for modularity. Uh, Feral Concepts does a really good job. Let me back up a little bit so you can see my big ass head. Feral Concepts does a really good job as far as modularity whenever it comes to taking stuff on and off, that kind of thing. As a matter of fact, this is the Cry JPC 1.0. I think the 2.0 has the removable uh, front flap. I think they hold it on with Velcro. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't do enough research on that. But if you're looking for a ridiculous amount of modularity, this may not necessarily be the way that you want to go. Um, however, one other upgrade that I did, and I got this bad boy for like 20 bucks. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get the real deal. Um, it was kind of one of those impulse buys, but I needed a QD option for this versus having to yank my uh, my flap up and then undo the Velcro and that kind of thing. This right here is basically just a QD buckle and it slides on and off like so. If I'm not mistaken, First Spear is the one who came up with this idea and it's a relatively simple design. Um, I don't even know what the brand of this is, but MOS Tactical, if you are looking for a QD option for your Cumberbund, MOS Tactical makes the Velcro and male side that plugs in under here and they also have the uh the tubes that is actually direct threaded on here if you can look and see closely what it, the way that i attached this uh buckle it interfaces with the uh, molly on here and i had to wrap the uh the loop velcro around i don't really like that and i am going to be upgrading to where it's just basically uh sewn right onto there that way i don't have this loop velcro in here and it just to me it looks a lot cleaner um, so that's what I'm going to be doing in the near future. Uh, right now I'm kind of in the process of stocking up on as much ammo as I possibly can considering the shortage, but I don't know. Right now I'm just, I'm praying that pr ammo prices fall, but from what I'm seeing, that's probably not going to happen in the near future. So I don't have my gun belt on me right now, but I actually am going to be doing a video next week on kind of my gun belt setup, however, how I have everything going. But uh, ideally, um, what you want out of a carrier, especially a minimalist type like this, you want uh, nice and flat on the front. Try not, um, with the exception of uh, if you're out playing around with, you know, your scorpion, try to keep your 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 front as flat as possible. That way, if you're out there doing the prone thing, you know, shooting on your belly, you don't have a bunch of shit stacked up right here. But outside of that, it does everything that I need it to do. I do a lot of running with it. Well, not a whole lot of running, or at least I, I do a lot of running now, should I say. Not a fan of cardio, sorry, <laughs> even though I should be. But I'm uh, starting to do a lot of running with it and it really holds on nice and secure. It's got the, uh, the, the shock cord on the back that actually attaches the tubes. And by the way, on the back here, this is my, uh, what do you call it? My water, water bladder, whatever it is, it's from Source and does a really good job. I got the, uh, the cord that comes up to the front. It's nice and insulated keep stuff cold for as long as you need it to and uh, from what I understand all the reviews that I read the uh, source uh, hydration packs are incredibly durable and they're very uh, hard to rip on if in case you fall on your ass or something like that you don't have to worry about stuff busting you know because that uh, that has been known to happen fall to the rear and you got a water pack full of water that pressure of hitting it it may wind up uh, busting one of the seals but I digress uh, outside of that everything I need right here two med pouches this right this pouch right here and like I said I don't remember exactly what uh what brand it is but this is where I keep all my miscellaneous shit I got my uh you need some sort of a uh, lens cover or lens wipe as well as a lighter and some uh some CLP stuff just odds and ends batteries things like that that you might need on the fly uh, that's my setup uh tell me what you think and if you think I'm either have, screwed something up or should put something somewhere else by all means let me know i'm always uh open to uh second opinions on on things these things are always a work the plate carriers are always a work in progress the way it's set up now will probably be completely different in another six months who the hell knows but this is what i got i hope you enjoyed the video and uh stay safe out there with the quarantine